Yeah, this is nice. Real nice. I could see myself owning, owning this. Okay guys, so it's a beautiful day, and if I sound a little bit muffled, it's because I have this thing over my mouth. I got my cold weather gear on today. It's uh, in the mid 40s, but I want to get out, well the sun was out, I want to get out and take a little ride. If you watch the channel, you know that I'm going to be, hopefully, well Lord willing, buying a Road King and doing a whole performance build. It's going to be a straight up performance bagger all the way. Now this one here is like my performance bagger slash touring motorcycle. That build ought to be interesting, but I can't start the build until I find the bike. And I got a phone call this morning from Bootlegger Harley saying that they had a Road King down there that I need to come take a look at. I decided to stop by since I was out running around anyway and see the Road King. So yeah, I did a test ride on the Road King before, but I want to take this one for a test ride too. And we can talk more about this performance build. It just snowed here like two days ago, and there was still snow on the ground at a couple of places. But right now, for the most part, the same sun came out and there's no more snow. And it doesn't feel bad at all. Feels really good, to be honest with you, with this cold weather gear on. I feel it creeping in in certain little spots, but nothing, nothing major. Like I'm not against buying a theft recovery bike or a repossessed bike. I really don't want to buy a salvage bike because I don't want to buy a bike that anybody has had an accident on. I was back and forth if it's going to be a Road Glide or a Road King. I'm pretty much set on Road King right now. That's bootlegger right there. Guys, if you're traveling this Interstate 40, well actually 40, 75 merges right here. I don't know the number of this exit. And just over the bridge, you'll see bootlegger Harley Davidson right there. Right across the street from the TA truck stop. You notice today I'm wearing my winter gloves. When you haven't had your winter gloves on in a long time, it feels really weird wearing these big old winter gloves. But it's something I have to get used to. I'm also wearing my winter shoes. All right, we're here. Yeah, that's it sitting there. Looks good too. There it is. That's the Road King. Let me give you a closer look at it. That's gonna that's gonna go. I don't want that. But that's not bad. Everything that I have is black. Black trucks, black cars. It has the little bitty uh, engine guard there. The wheels, they're gonna go anyway, so it doesn't matter. The 107, not worried about that because it's gonna be a lot bigger. And it'll be something different. Instead of going with my chrome, like I have on that bike, it won't be technically all blacked out, but a black and gray would be pretty cool. What do you think? Man, this is so much lighter than my bike. Just lifting it up. Man, what in the world? That's kind of, they got to put your hands up under there. To, that's weird. Should have more room than that. Are all Road Kings like this? Let's put it in neutral. And I tell you now, I'm not comfortable because the seat, I'm too far on the tank. But not a problem. I, I'm going to change the seat. Got a little bit of gas in it. This opens up, let me fasten this. This opens and closes, not bad, not bad. That comes off quickly. And I wouldn't put highway pegs on it because I'm not going that route anymore. But with this little uh, crash bar, sometimes with, with my bike on the highway pegs, I will put my, I'll throw my leg over it. And see, I could throw my leg over this. By the way, guys, if you're looking at these ugly shoes, I only wear them in the winter time. These are the Jordan retro one motos they're jordans like i always wear retro ones but they're made for motorcycle riding which is cool i have them in black and in white these come up way above your ankle and they're official motorcycle boot okay one oh seven haven't ridden one of these in a while and surprisingly enough it's pretty peppy to be honest with you I can feel the difference, how light it is. These mirrors, they're not doing anything but looking back at me. That's another thing, what would I do with the mirrors? I'm not a huge fan of having mirrors like this. 
I'll figure something out. But let's talk more about the bike first. Yeah, man, it feels. Let's see. Look at that. Oh my goodness, this is so much. I don't know what the actual numbers are, and I'm glad that I didn't look and see what the actual numbers are. But it feels so much lighter than my motorcycle. I noticed another thing too. I have lowers on my bike, and uh, my feet are cold because I don't have anything on this, and the wind's just blowing straight on me. <laughs> yeah, the 107 still gets it a little bit. Man, this feels good. Okay, I was just gonna go and, and go down the interstate, but I'm not. I'm gonna hit a back road because I'm not getting this for the interstate. It's not the bike that I'm gonna take on a long road trip. My plan is to put to put a great suspension on it. I'm tall, so I can lift it up right not worried about that big motor not going to tell you what but you can pretty much guess who man i feel like i'm sitting so low to the ground this is crazy but it's almost unbelievable that this is on the same platform as my street glide it doesn't feel like it it feels a whole lot lighter though but it feels a whole lot smaller it's been a while since I rode a stock bike with a stock seat. I'll tell you this, the seat will make a world of difference for a tall rider. I feel like I'm sitting on the gas tank. Oh, oh yeah, I was telling you what I'm going to do to it. So yeah, I'm going to, of course, do all the performance upgrade, make it more powerful than what I have now change out all the lights of course they're going to be custom dynamics change out the bars change the bags now these bags are extended bags because this is special so i'd have to change the bags to short bags i want to do that again i'm not traveling on it um, change out the, the floorboards the grips find something different to do with these mirrors Change out the wheels and tires. I'm not going to go 21. I would go. I might even go down. What in the. Is that a 2300th anniversary? It is. Had it soft tail. I wish it would have been a Road King. I've been looking for a 2300th anniversary Road King. Man, I love that paint. That color scheme is the nicest. I should have still seen how much it was for somebody who's watching this because somebody might want to want to buy it. I don't care that it's a special, but everything that I just said, I really should just buy a standard. Find a 2017 standard because I don't care about any of the stuff that makes it a special. I'll be changing it out. The paint is nice, but my preference is black. And since I'll be taking a lot of the stuff off and putting new stuff on, if I wanted to make it an all black bike, if I decided to, I can just get it powder coated. So having it be a special doesn't really do a lot for me. Doesn't, doesn't matter that much. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. We usually go straight. We're going to go to the right this time. Yep, and I should have changed the gear. It's a little bit different than having that big 124. Still fun to ride. You know, a lot of guys, they think when they get a Harley, if they don't have certain things on it, you know, they can't have any fun on it. I'll tell you, you can have fun. What are all those barrels lined up for? What's he doing? You can have fun on a stock 107 Harley Davidson. It doesn't take a whole laundry list of things. There we go. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. A whole laundry list of things and have your bike customized in order for you to enjoy it. I could get this bike right now off the showroom floor and do nothing to it. 
and still have a good time with it. Now I know people like watching my channel because they like to see what I'm doing to the motorcycle, but I'm telling you, don't get caught up in all those things. You can buy a straight up stock bike and have a great time with it. My friend Bill Rod Repeat says stock bikes stink. No. Nah. <laughs> I took a stock bike, well basically a stock bike all the way to California. And I had a blast. Ride the bike that you have. Whether you have a Harley or a Honda, ride the one that you have and, and you'll enjoy it. You have a good time. I was saying on my live video the other day that there's just something special about riding. And you won't find that going from dealership to dealership. You'll find that when you get lost, get out on a nice curvy road way out there. And I'm not mean literally lost, but I mean get away from everything out there on a curvy road. Oh man, I should have got it into this. Oh yeah, I can tell this is going to be something. This will be fun to throw around. But getting out by yourself or maybe just with a few friends and um, enjoying the open road on a road trip. Get out and put some real miles on it. You'll love it. I think this will make one nice performance bagger. Maybe I change it up a little bit from having everything all black. And it's not far from being black. It's like uh, <laughs> light black. <laughs> That's what we'll call it. Instead of gray, we're gonna call it light black. Yeah, this is nice. Real nice. I could see myself owning, owning this. This color's kind of growing on me too. What do you guys think? Do you like the color? Put that in the comments below. Okay, my gas light came on. <laughs> that means it's time to turn around and go back to the dealership. It's not, I'm not too far away from it. Where's the clock? I wonder is there like a clock? Well, it, it was, that's dumb. That is the clock right there where it says 521. It's just wrong. I wonder what else it does. It's like a button. Is there a button somewhere? Well, it has to be. It has to show the miles and different things like that. And this is your, your fuel gauge right here. Oh, man, yeah. And If I got a Road King, I want to get those digital gauges that go right there that'll look super cool okay where is I don't feel anything around there must be on the handlebars or something oh the trigger switch on the back the gears and rpm fourth okay that's cool can't really look down at it and ride we're coming to a stop now, about to turn left. And I don't know if I told you guys, this is a 2017 special. So the 2018 specials, the 2018s had 114s on them. The 2017s came blacked out. That was the first time they did that. The 2018s, far street lines go, 2018s, um, had the 114 on them but didn't have the new GTS I'm pretty sure somebody will correct me and the 2019's had the new GTS 114 all blacked out and the 2020 had all that that I just mentioned with the RDRS so who knows what the 2021 is going to have. It's December now and they're not out. If you go to Harley's website, you'll see on Harley's website <laughs> the new things that they have. They have a bunch of bicycles on there. Yes, and if you can't tell, I am shaking my head. You know, you know one thing I've noticed, that car pulled out in front of me, another car was on me back there. I didn't say nothing about it. Another one almost put out in front of me. I think it's just because this bike is so quiet that they're not looking for it. For some reason, 
I feel like people notice me more on my motorcycle and well probably due to the loud exhaust and all I'm completely surrounded by custom dy dynamic lights this bike I've only been on it for what 15 minutes now and people are pulling up behind me and riding close to me guys LEDs they're not just for looks I'm telling you one of the first things I would do, if not being the first thing I would do, I'll change out your brake lights to LEDs and add the magic strobe. I think this is something that you have to do because people are not paying attention to you. I don't know if it's because it's so cold out here today that uh, they don't expect anybody to be on a motorcycle or whatever. We're almost back at the dealership now. No, I don't know. This might be the one, guys. It might be. I'll have to, I'm not buying it today. I'll have to sit down and think about it. All the stuff that I told you, I really, again, I really just need a standard. I don't need a special. <laughs> yeah, but it, it does good though. Let's look at this one and look at mine. Yeah, that could be nice. They would look pretty good sitting beside each other in the garage too, wouldn't they? What do you guys think? Hulk, if you're watching, look what they have here. Eagle Eye. Bootlegger Harley Davidson. Guys, if anybody's looking for an Eagle Eye Road King, they got one down here. Rogue, I'm sorry, Rogue Glide. And see this guy right here, Tony. That's Tony. Yeah, come see him. They have it. And uh, Hulk, I still say what I said about yours. <laughs> I'll see you, man. That's what it's supposed to feel like. If I buy that one, I could make a real nice bike out of it. <laughs> see, that's what I'm talking about. It's there. Flick of the wrist, the front wheel pops up easy. Yeah. The street glide, I tell you. Alright guys, I gotta go pick up something by the mall and then head on to the house. There's something I said on one of my other videos. Uh, it was a live video. I said that I had 12 inch KST bars. I don't. 10 inch six bin kst kickers that's what i have on here and i don't like them right at the top of the fairing not too uh my hands are not above the fairing and on cold days like this i appreciate that okay we're stopping Okay, now we're getting... Okay guys, so put it in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Did you like the Road King? Do you think that should be the next bike on the Traveling Tall channel? Should I build that bike or should I continue to look for a Street Glide? Sorry, Street Glide's on the brake. Road King Standard, Road King. Put that in the comments below. You know everything I said I was gonna do to it. I kind of, I'm kind of leaning towards just finding a Road King standard, even though I like the look of that bike and it would be a nice looking bike after everything I said has been done to it. But, oh, okay. This is one of those moments where you need to tap the top of your helmet right here. Man, he was looking super stealthy too. And the truth is, if I wasn't talking to you guys, I was gonna hit that fast lane running. So, thumbs up to you guys. <laughs> I done lost my whole train of thought, so I'm in the video here. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. Again, comment below if you like the Road King. Like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day.